G'day, Lemonating Cow here, and today I am back with another Sekero Shadows Die Twice guide. And this time I'm going to be showing you how to get double the amount of items and Sen on your farming routes. I found this to be most effective when you're doing a short stealth run where you can one hit enemies, or if you want to farm a large group of enemies at once without actually killing them. Because of the materials and the prosthetic tool that we're going to need for this, it's going to be a mid to late game farm. So in order to find this prosthetic tool, you're going to have to progress through the game until the part where you come to the gun fort. Now the gun fort is necessary for you to pass through in order to finish the game, so I won't tell you exactly where the idol is. But once you have made it to the gun fort idol, you'll be able to unlock this prosthetic tool. Once you've reached the gun fort and the gun fort idol, we're going to head down the path away from the gunners up the top and we'll be pretty quickly met by a mini boss. Now I have deleted all of my uh, footage of this mini boss unfortunately, but he is actually pretty easy to deal with. All you have to do is when he rushes you just spam the deflect or the block button and you should deflect most of his moves. Once he jumps away he should do a charge attack and at this point you just have to double jump off him to further break his posture and just keep up this rhythm until you have broken his posture. Once you've defeated him, pick up the item in the middle of the room and this will be the Divine Abduction Prosthetic Tool. Before you leave just be aware that there is a hole in the floor that you can drop down and at the end of the path you will get a prayer bead. Anyway, once you're ready, head back to the Sculptor and forge your new prosthetic tool. And what we're going to want to do is upgrade it to the Golden Vortex Tree. Now this is one of the last upgrades for it, so it is going to take some pretty advanced materials. But by mid to late game, you should definitely have enough to build this weapon. You'll first have to create all the upgrades leading to this path here. But once you've done that, you're going to need 1500 Sen, 4 scraps of iron, 4 lumps of fat wax, 2 adamantite scrap, and 2 fulminated mercury. Now the adamantite and the fulminated mercury are going to be the hardest ones to get. And I would say that you can pretty much only access these mid to late game. Now once we've unlocked the golden vortex, all we have to do is find a great farming spot. So for my farming spot, I've picked the Ashina Antechamber because this is great for just getting in, killing one enemy and getting out. So make sure that your Golden Vortex is equipped and then we're going to go right up close to our target. We're going to press the Prosthetic Tool button to prime the attack and then press it again to actually launch the attack. You'll notice a big kind of storm of uh, gold goes around and some item and Sen should fall out of the enemy. Now at this point it will turn them around and you'll get the opportunity to do your backstab. So you can do that quickly and you can still kill the enemy in one hit without them noticing you. The great thing is here that it will not only drop that initial Sen and item out of using the Golden Vortex, but once you kill them they will also drop another item and the same amount of Sen again. Just note I was using the Demon Bell buff here which does increase the drop rate of items. You'll notice the initial pickup of Sen will be 174 and then when we kill him and absorb more Sen it'll actually jump up to 348 so it'll double the gold that we get off him. This method can also be used on enemies that you don't intend to kill either. If you run into a bunch of enemies you can actually put down the Golden Vortex and they do have a chance of dropping Sen and items as well. And then all you have to do is absorb those items and run away as fast as you can. Again, apologies for not having original footage of that boss or the uh, the item, but hopefully it didn't slow you down too much. If you did like this guide and it helped you out, then please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions or any good farming places to use this method, then leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Moo moo.